The idea for Sensory X was a long-term dream to interact with the virtual world in a natural way. Use your hands, your feet, your whole body. And a couple of years ago, I came across Rolf Thesis. That's when we decided to come together and found a company. The system works by combining multiple sensor types, by actually picking the best features of each sensor and combine them, fuse them in a certain way that we actually have a very precise system and which allows it to fully immerse in the in virtual content. The most important feature that we wanted our system to have is the very precise tracking of the hand, so not only position but also finger movements. We think that our technology will revolutionize virtual reality because it really makes interaction natural. So you don't have to learn uh, the buttons of a controller, but you really can use your hands to interact with virtual reality. Our system actually is the only one right now that is mobile, that allows you to use your hands. The hand might not always be in the line of sight, so it might manipulate something which is out of, of your view, basically. We wanted to have the possibility to incorporate different movements as well, so even footsteps to actually move in the virtual reality. Immersion is particularly important because it connects the user to the virtual reality. So you're not just playing your avatar, you really become that avatar. Augmented reality will certainly enrich our lives by adding information in your surrounding. You're actually not chained to any location or computer. You can take it everywhere and let uh, virtual information pop up. You can then interact with this information. My ambition for Sensor X is that we get this, this system out in the, in the field and actually let people use it uh, to immerse in, into virtual reality. The dream for motion capture, I think, has been out there for a long time. And now, finally, with the ascension of head-mounted devices, different types of sensors, and experts like Nico and Rolf, I think we, we have reached a level where you can actually implement it. It is really a paradigm change. It can really change the way we interact with electronics and, and computers.